While we've already seen special triangles in degrees, let's review them in radians. We will also go about plotting these triangles on the unit circle. Let's start by drawing our special triangles in degrees. Starting with the 45, 45, 90 triangle, remember that since there are two identical angles, we end up with two identical side lengths. If we call those one and one, we know the hypotenuse will be root two using the Pythagorean theorem and now we can convert these angles to radians. So 45 times pi over 180 degrees is going to give us pi over 4. So in radians, we might call this the pi over 4, pi over 4, pi over 2 triangle. Note that our side lengths remain the exact same as expected. We can evaluate sine, cos, and tan of this triangle without a calculator. So sine of pi over 4 is going to give us 1 over root 2. Cos of pi over 4 also equals 1 over root 2. And finally, tan of pi over 4 will give us 1 of 1, which is just 1. So let's try plotting the pi over 4 triangle on a unit circle. So pi over 4, well, that's half of pi over 2. So we can put it right in the middle of the first quadrant. Now recall our formula for finding a point on a unit circle. Cos of pi over 4 is adjacent over hypotenuse. But since our hypotenuse is 1, we get that cos of pi over 4 is equal to x. And similarly, sine of pi over 4 is equal to y. So we actually already solved for these points earlier in the video. So let's just pull those answers up. Thus, for x, we get 1 over root 2, and for y, we also get 1 over root 2. Finally, we can plot this point on the graph, giving us 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. Let's do the same thing for the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Converting these angles to radians gives us the following triangle. Sometimes it's easy to forget which angle is which, though, so here's a little trick. Pi over 3 is larger than pi over 6. And 60 degrees is larger than 30 degrees, right? Thus, we can always conclude that pi over 3 must be 60 degrees, since it's the bigger angle. Furthermore, if we forget which side is which on the triangle, we can use another trick. First, remember that there is a 1, a 2, and a root 3 involved for the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So, the 1 will be on the smallest side, and thus it'll be opposite the smallest angle, pi over 6. Root 3 is the second largest, so it's going to be opposite pi over 3. And 2 is our hypotenuse, because it's the largest number. Now, if you're ever unsure, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem to make sure your sides make sense and that they all add up. So now that our triangle is established, let's compute sine, cos, and tan of both pi over 3 and pi over 6. Starting with pi over 6, sine pi over 6 gives 1 over 2. Cos pi over 6 gives root 3 over 2. And tan pi over 6 gives 1 over root 3. Moving on to pi over 3, sine pi over 3 gives root 3 over 2, cos pi over 3 gives 1 over 2, and tan pi over 3 gives just root 3. Let's plot these triangles on the unit circle too. Using the same formula from before, we can find the x and y coordinates on the unit circle from x equals cos theta and y equals sine theta. So, starting with pi over 6, we can draw this triangle about one-third through the first quadrant. Solving for the x-coordinate gives us cos pi over 6. Again, remember that we already solved this question on the previous page. So pulling up our answers from before, we can see that cos of pi over 6 is equal to root 3 over 2. We also see sine pi over 6 is equal to 1 over 2. So let's plug that in for y as well. Plotting these points on the unit circle gives us root 3 over 2, 1 over 2. Next, let's plot pi over 3. 
we may have noticed from our previous calculations that sine pi over 3 was actually equal to cos pi over 6. And consequently, sine pi over 6 was equal to cos pi over 3. So our results will just be inverted. But let's prove it first. Drawing pi over 3 on the unit circle is 60 degrees from the initial arm, or right about here. Now, let's apply the same formulas. x is equal to cos pi over 3, which we found to be 1 over 2. y is equal to sine pi over 3, which we found to be root 3 over 2. Plotting these points on the unit circle gives 1 over 2, root 3 over 2. As we can see, the coordinates were swapped from pi over 6.